we continue to consider the mechanism of payment acceptance. The next payment service is LigPay. It has many advantages, including low commission percentage, a clear and well-documented API. At the same time, there is a huge disadvantage that cancels out absolutely all the advantages. This is a verification process for LigPay to agree to cooperate with you. There, you will have to take an uncomfortable position. We will not say out loud what kind of position, bent over and cuckoo. I can't call it anything else. But seriously, in my opinion, they have excessive requirements for your resource where you plan to integrate this service. That's why competitors' payment services are successful. Here, as in the case of way for pay you first need to generate an invoice. Let's take a look at the example of a subscription. This page schematically depicts the interaction of all parties involved in this process. And examples of use in different environments. It goes without saying that all required and optional parameters for generating a request are listed here. Plus an example of a response from the LegPay service. Another useful page is Data and Signature. It contains examples of forming a valid date that this service expects from your backend. At the same time, there is a form for creating a data and signature line. I used this form to compare the result from this form with my code. To test payment, LigPay provides information above the test card. By the way, it is the same as the Stripe service. I tested with my valid private bank card. Using test keys, you will not be charged, but you will go through all the steps of the payment procedure. Next, we'll look at the working code and move it to our NPM package that we started in the previous videos, so as not to create a lot of useless repositories.